So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a bit different and comparing the two different operating systems that are pretty new from Apple. We got iOS 26 and iOS 18. Uh, how do they differ? Let's find out. Now immediately off the bat, the first thing I'm noticing between these two phones is that the setup text is liquid glass over here, and on the iOS 18 phone, it's kind of just like a boring default white text. Uh, I'm not biased at all. Now when swiping up to set up the phone, another difference is pretty apparent. On the iOS 18 phone, you can see the corners have kind of an edge to them. I mean, they're still kind of rounded, but they do have somewhat of an edge to them. But on the iOS 26 phone, it's completely rounded off. And even though iOS 26 is using the new design for liquid glass, it seems like the preview for setting up appearance looks exactly the same. You know, just with the new wallpaper. Oh, uh oh, looks like they forgot to change the wallpaper for this. Uh, hope someone got fired for that blunder. Now another apparent difference between these two different software versions is the keyboard is a tiny bit better on iOS 26. <laughs> I mean, I say better as it's objective in my opinion, but they're different. Oh, and side tangent, how come I reset this phone and it doesn't have that stupid piss filter on the screen, but this one does? Oh, and the Apple Collects Hardware Identifiers message is actually left aligned on 26 as well. Oh, and just take a look at the difference in the pop-up messages on 26 versus 18. I don't know how people can go back to 18 from the beta. Oh, that's kind of strange. They changed the image for transferring your apps and data. I, I don't think you needed to do that, but thanks. All right, and we're all done setting up, and it is way different on 26. Hey, it's got life, and hey, it's on life support. Thank God we're done with setup. I can finally turn off the piss filter. Now, immediately after setting up the phone, the difference is pretty apparent, and uh, would you piss off? I mean, just take a look at the icons. They're, I, okay, well, fair, they're pretty similar, but <laughs> they're a tiny bit different on iOS 26 to the point where you can tell it's a new software version. Now, iOS 6 actually has a couple of new apps like Games and Preview, but Games, it, it's pretty useless. I'm just gonna get rid of this thing. So, video intro aside, let's start comparing the apps. Now, on iOS 26, they actually don't show your background for the FaceTime call anymore until you actually make the call, which, I, I mean, it's pretty good, because if you've ever had a schizophrenic parent before, you'd know they freak out about this thing spying on them, which, they're probably right. Okay, uh, what about Calendar? Oh, okay, yep, the exact same, except for the liquid glass elements. Now, I hate to be nitpick Nancy over here, but... It Really? You think a picture is better than just telling me what the function's gonna do? <laughs> but it's so fun and you can play with a button! Who cares about readability? Okay, and up next, let's compare photos, and pretty much anything could be an upgrade from the abysmal piece of dog shit that was on iOS 18. Now, iOS 26 actually does things right by having all of your photo library be in one section and having everything else be in another one. But on iOS 18, everything's on one page, have fun! Oh, here's a fun one, the camera. Now, the camera design is wildly different between these two different versions. You've got something brand new over here, and you've got a carryover from iOS 7 over here. Switching the different modes on iOS 18 looks like this, and switching the different modes on 26 looks like this. And to change settings, instead of having to reach all the way up here, you can just tap the video button on iOS 26, or, you know, whatever button you're in the camera mode for. Now, I don't know a single soul that uses Apple Mail, but let's take a look at it anyways. Oh, that's interesting. They got rid of this old selection screen and they just have enter an email address. I'm pretty sure if you click this, you can, yeah, you can still get that back though. Now, this is a bit of an odd direction to go with iOS, but the colors seem a bit muted on 26 compared to them being way more vibrant on 18. But that little tiny trade-off is worth it for having an actually reachable search bar. I mean, have you ever tried to do like phone gymnastics with one hand where you gotta like stretch all the way to the top of the bottom of the phone? That just sucks. Let's leave that in the past. Okay, uh, what's up with notes? Oh, and would you look at that? Another reachable search bar. I mean, it's a bit too late. I already have Carpal Tunnel Apple, but better late than never. Speaking of reachability, take a look at the pop-up menu. In 26, they move the most essential functions to the very top of the menu, so you don't gotta stretch down anymore. I like this update. Aside from reachability changes, the app looks pretty much the same, just with a few button changes. And I mean, goodbye yellow, you're the worst color anyways. Reminder still gets to keep its color though, <laughs> that's a bit strange. The different categories for all your reminders look way more polished on 26 though compared to 18. I mean, they're just more colorful, but I like that. Alright, and next up, let's take a look at the differences in the clock app, and why do you think it's cute to have the actual clock move? I can't read anything that isn't digital, okay? I'm Gen Z. Okay, yeah, the clock app is exactly the same, except for a few liquid glass changes. And I mean, it's a tiny change, but <laughs> look how fun it is! Now this is a pretty strange difference between the two devices. Uh, Apple TV on iOS 26 seems to default to dark mode, even when I'm in light mode. Uh, but on 18, it's still light mode. Alright, and next up, let's take a look at the App Store. Yeah, and similar to a lot of apps on these phones, uh, it's pretty much the same exact thing, minus the liquid glass elements. 
One thing that is pretty cool with the liquid glass elements though is that the search bar kind of takes over the entire bottom bar and you tap the game button to get back to the normal one. Pretty neat design. Okay, and next up, let's take a look at the health app. Oh, wh what? You're curious about my sex? Uh, there's no need for that, just ask your mother. Again, much of the same, but they got rid of the browse button over here, seems to have merged with the search menu. Now the app that's gotten the most changes in my opinion is definitely settings. I mean, look how different it is. For example, just take a look at how different these buttons are. This one's got liquid glass behind it, and this one uh, hasn't changed since iOS 7. Another difference, I mean, it's kind of subtle if you don't use any of the special modes, but the icons have been touched up a bit on 26 as well. Uh, I just tried to access Game Center on 26, and it, it kind of just soft locked me here. Um, great beta. Okay, and next up, let's check out the app that everybody has, but nobody wants to use, Phone. Now, on iOS 26, you have Favorites, Recents, and Voicemail all merged into the Calls tab, and you also have Contacts and Keypads still have their own dedicated section, but I think it's a great change because you do not need five tabs for just a phone app, come on. And if you're the type of person who hates progress, don't worry, you can switch back to classic mode here as well. How inconvenient! Safari got a huge facelift in iOS 26. The largest difference between these two versions is definitely the viewport on the bottom. <laughs> over here it feels like you have so much more room just because it's transparent, but over here it feels like it's just wasting space. Now, I've been glazing this update a bunch, but what the hell is this? Okay, it's reachable on iOS 18, but it's all the way up here on 26? This is a regression! What, what are we doing? You, you were so good with the search bar! Now in America, this one is a huge change. iMessage. Oh, and like a lot of the other iOS 26 apps, the search bar is down here as well. <laughs> Finally, extortion is reachable! Now one thing I really like about this operating system is just how beautiful and elegant it looks. I mean, oh, um... Uh, but I guess that's how uh, the text look on this thing. Now here's the difference in notifications between iOS 18 and 26 as well. I mean, it might be a bit hard to read it on light backgrounds on 26, but I think it's worth it. Now actually sending on messages back and forth with someone on iOS 26 is way more fun. I mean, they give you all these cool backgrounds to play with as well. Do you really want to go back to just standard black or white on 18? Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's take a look at Apple Music. I gotta say, Liquid Glass is very apparent on this app. <laughs> it's kinda hard to read, actually. Aside from that, though, same story as the App Store. Same layout, different design. Now, there is a new feature on Apple Music on iOS 26 called Auto Mix, where it kinda mix one song that's ending into another one that's starting, kinda like a DJ, but it's kinda hard to demo on YouTube without getting copyright struck, so find it somewhere else, please. Okay, next up we got weather, and okay, pretty much exactly the same. Now I know nobody reads anymore, but let's take a look at books regardless. Now this one's actually kind of interesting on iOS 26. Instead of having the bottom menu stay consistent, it actually hides away when you start to scroll down. On 18, uh, it's always there. Have fun looking at it. What about iTunes Store? Now that one's the talk of the town. Everybody uses this app. Oh wow, okay. They didn't even touch this at all on iOS 26. In fact, have they even touched it since iOS 7? Okay, uh, they changed it a tiny bit, my bad. Okay, and next up, let's take a look at Translate. It really comes in handy when someone's speaking Spanish. Oh, cool, another step forward, another step backward. So, the favorites was over here on iOS 18, right? It's all the way up here on 26! What is the logic behind that? It was easier to reach on this one! Okay, so, uh, what about maps then? Oh yeah, this one looks way better on 26. Being able to see what's behind the map with this menu instead of this block and everything? Perfect. Seems like the map itself is actually the exact same between the two versions though. Oh, one cool other difference is, look at the pop-up menu between these two. This one's way cooler to play with, but this one does the same job. App Library also benefits from Liquid Glass by having the folders be reflective as well. Now this is just a nice touch, but on iOS 26, when you're moving the folder across the background, it actually refracts and reflects the light off of it. <laughs> it looks awesome. But on 18, uh, you get a bit of color peering through it, and that's about it. As for the folder itself on iOS 26, it actually feels like it's sitting on a sheet of glass, but on iOS 18, uh, just the iOS 7 folder, just a bit newer. Now actually customizing the phones is pretty much the same between these two. They both support dark app icons, you can move the app icons anywhere you want, but one thing that is different is iOS 26 does actually have a clear mode, which... That just looks terrible. I mean, Apple, we're on beta 9, okay? We're like two weeks away from the release and you haven't figured out that we want the background of the app to stay clear, but we want the actual app icon to be colored. Like, how am I gonna find my apps in this mess? 
Speaking of customization, iOS 26 actually does have a pretty cool feature up its sleeve, the depth effect. Now what the depth effect means is pretty much any image you throw into your wallpaper, uh, when you move it around it has kind of like a 3D scene to it. Uh, anybody remember the 3DS? Anyways, uh, that's about it for this video comparing iOS 26 to iOS 18. And if you're worried about it taking more battery life or being a bit stuttery, Nerd. I mean, it is going to take more battery and it might be a bit more stuttery, but come on, it's more fun with liquid glass. What are you, boring? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Okay, so I just finished recording a couple minutes ago. I dropped my iPad because I was using it to play some music and look at this shit. What the fuck? I put a screen protector on it. Yeah, and you might be thinking, oh, what screen protector do you have on it? I had this one, okay? Deal-worthy. Yeah, what a great fucking deal. My iPad's broken now.